Hello everyone, hope all of you are doing good. Wishing you all a happy new year. May you all have a great 2024. In this video, I'm going to keep it short and simple and tell you about five tools, technologies or platforms I believe that you should use and learn can help you not only in upskilling but also in getting jobs and maybe also making money. Without wasting much time, let's dive right into the video. The first category of tools that I think will be very relevant for you will be SQL and Python. I've talked about these tools a lot in previous videos as well. You all know how useful these are in the field of data. So I believe everyone in the field of data should learn SQL and Python. SQL is asked in almost every job description. So you know how important it is. So please start learning SQL if you have not started yet. Python is a very robust tool. It has a lot of use cases like you can use it to build web apps. You can use it in machine learning. You can use it for data analysis, data visualization, also for AI and natural language processing purposes. So definitely start learning Python. It can be a game changer skill. The second category that I would like to focus on is a little bit of data engineering tools. In this category, to start with, you can look at two things. Learn about one cloud platform. This could be GCP, that is Google Cloud Platform or AWS, right? which is Amazon's cloud platform. Start understanding how it works, how data is stored there and go into the intricacies. You can do this by simply following some YouTube videos or take some Udemy course. Apart from this, if you are a data analyst and you want to transition a little bit into data engineering, I find this tool called as Airflow to be a game changer. Let us say you write a Python script and you save this data to a database. Now, if you want to do this process repeatedly every single day at a particular point of time, then you can use a tool like Airflow, which is a data orchestration tool that can help you schedule these scripts and run it at regular intervals. There are some Udemy courses and one or two hour videos on YouTube that can help you get started with Airflow. In the future, I will also be posting some videos about Airflow. So definitely learn this skill as well. It could be a super useful skill. The third category that I think can be very relevant is learning a little bit about natural language processing and some AI tools. So natural language processing means how can you query a database with natural language? How can you like write the summary of a big paragraph? Things like that, right? There are a lot of packages in Python. Start exploring that. This could be very, very useful. On top of that, integrate chat GPT or Google Bard into your daily work life. It will make a big difference because it will enhance your productivity and help you focus on more important things. So definitely make that as part of your learning or job, whatever it is. The fourth category of tools that I am very bullish on is to learn a little bit about cryptocurrency, cryptocurrency investing and trading. Why I am saying this is because normally there is this cryptocurrency called as Bitcoin which has halving cycles. Okay, This happens every four years. It happened in 2016, then 2020 and it's happening this year in 2024. And if you have a look at the charts, normally in the halving year and the year after, Bitcoin has given some insane returns. right? So that way, if you start to understand a little bit about what is cryptocurrency, what are what is Bitcoin, what are the other coins available, it could be a great opportunity. If you have some money and you invest prudently, you can make massive returns. So definitely start learning about this. I think it can be super useful for you to make some money through investing. The fifth and final category I want to talk about is using certain platforms. I still believe that LinkedIn is a huge game changer for anyone who wants to break into the field of data. If you have learned something, please share it on LinkedIn. If you have completed a certification, share it on LinkedIn. Showcase your projects on LinkedIn. Share your knowledge, whatever you have learned on LinkedIn. Network on LinkedIn and connect with like-minded people. This can be a huge game changer. 2023, I personally seen a lot of people who have been able to get jobs just because they were active on LinkedIn and sharing their learnings. So if you have not done that, take this as a new year resolution. Start sharing your knowledge on LinkedIn. You don't need to be an expert. Whatever you know, you can share. People are not going to judge you. I hope this video was useful for you and you will start picking up some of these things I have told you. I will see you again in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.